another beautiful day in Culver City. My p -p 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 paradise. LA paradise. Um, yeah, get the lights. So, pretend like you're autistic or Asperger's or whatever, right? It's like, <laughs> somebody's talking to you in a conversation, the second they bore you, just walk away, and they'll be like, where you going? I was talking to you. And they just like, pretend like you're autistic. Like, Yo, my bad, I have Asperger's, I'm autistic. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to follow your, uh, your social norms, right? And so, the reason why, I mean, it's a bad strategy, but also effective, even the uh, Elon Musk when he was on SNL, right? He's like, I'm the first person that, did, 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 that like admits that they're autistic, or is autistic, or admits that they're autistic, or Asperger's or whatever with Asperger's, right? Even like uh, the notion of quote quote Asperger's, I think it's, I, I I don't think it's quote quote real or it's not a critical thought because everyone has different degrees of social skills, right? And so the second someone casts you in like, you got Asperger's or autism or on the spectrum, right? Everyone's a little bit on the spectrum, right? And you know, we all talk about neurodiversity, right? Everyone's brain is a little bit different, but people don't really want you to be different because they want you to stay inside the box, right? So my even my thought is everyone wants to be different in the same way now too. So, uh, <laughs> It's, it's actually funny, I was like, even talking to my friend uh, Dylan Fan, uh, who went to uh, uh, RISD. How my RISD students, I'm like, like, all the kids look kind of funny, or like, our kids, I'm like, I'm like, I ask him questions, like, oh, it's like, it's like, is everyone like, because I, I, I did notice that everyone looks, every, all the kids in art school kind of look, they all look different from traditional society, but they all look the same. Like, even when I was in high school, all the goth emo kids, right? Why are they all shopping on hop top topic and looking the same, right? Like, why are they all paint their nails black and wear black hoodies? Like, why can't you be a goth, at least back in high school, and be wearing like a rainbow shirt? Or, you know, why, like, why can't you be a goth and emo, but you know, uh, have uh, short cut hair or you know a six pack or whatever, right? And even like people who are into like heavy ma uh, rock and metal, right? Like, why does everyone need like? black denim chains, a mohawk, and stuff like that. So I think everyone who tries to dress a certain way to become part of a subculture, it's a signal that uh, kind of like, kind of like a, kind of like a merchandising of uh, a certain sub community, right? So like, for example, let's say you're into hip hop, right? Like, why do you gotta pair, wear a pair of Jordans or Forces or Yeezys? Why don't you just be like EK and just wear some uh, Vibram Five Finger shoes, right? Um, so yeah, I think uh, yeah, all these all these trends are are, are bad. Um, I mean, my personal suggestion and my personal hope is like, and also another thing is like, why is it that everyone who likes to go to Joshua Tree or do hiking nature says, like, why does everyone have to drive a Subaru or some sort of SUV off-roading vehicle thing? I'm like. Just take your, take your Toyota Prius, it's, it's, it's all good, right? Like, also the secret that a lot of people don't want you to know is, truth be told, like, 99% of these trails, 99.9%, .9%, almost like 100% of these trails can all be accessible via a standard sedan, like even a Ford Fusion. Even um, Cindy, uh, me and Sen were borrowing uh, Cindy's mom's um, Ford uh, Fusion, which I helped them get back in the day when I did the Fiesta movement. Um, and the Ford Fusion is a great car for hiking, traveling, road tripping, going anywhere. Um, there's like literally no place we didn't know, need to go that needed an all-wheel drive car. And also, even if you need an all-wheel drive car or go off-roading, it's just like not a pleasant experience. Like super bumpy, makes the car sick, uh, not fun, right? And so, my general thought about like this kind of off-roading, you know, kind of lifestyle, whatever, um, is essentially the like. Yeah, just people trying to make a profit, which is which is fine, but uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so some some other thoughts. Don't trust founders who look like they dress apart. The so the reason why like uh, Chainlink and Sergey uh, Nazarov, it's like, <laughs> just look at him. He's like always wearing the same, like has the same crew cut haircut, and is always wearing the same blue flannel. Like he obviously doesn't care, right? Um, 
rather than the guy who tries to dress like what would a like a quote quote like hotshot crypto whiz boss look like? What super slick hair, driving a Lambo, gold watch, um, black suit? No, just um, even uh, Peter Thiel uh, was the first to really recognize this. It's like don't trust the founder or the CEO in the suit because uh, suits are trying to signal that they is legitimate, but in fact, uh, they're not. Like, even if you go to a fancy party, right? Don't be, don't be hoodwinked. The person who's dressed to the tens, to the teens, is probably the least successful person there because they're trying to wear clothing that signals how successful they is. But in fact, the real, you know, successful rich person there is probably the one just wearing like flip-flops like if you could show up to like a fancy ass party just wearing flip-flops and uh you know a, like a billabong hoodie you're you're probably the the richest uh most successful there so um or the person who looks homeless is probably the 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 low-key billionaire so yeah don't let uh don't be hoodwinked by appearances um and uh yeah just follow your gut